Um, so let's do another one of these electroplating problems. This one says a quantity of 0 0.300 grams of copper was deposited from a copper 2 sulfate solution by passing a current of 3.00 amps through the solution for 304 seconds. Calculate the value of the Faraday constant. Okay, so we're going to um, need to do a couple of things in this problem. So the uh, way I would approach this problem is to balance that half reaction that we were talking about first, okay? So um, the half reaction that they mentioned was copper 2 sulfate going to copper salt, okay? So um, let's just write down that information. So Cu2 plus, so I'm just taking away the sulfate since it's a spectator ion. Aq plus, well, kind of giving it away, going to copper solid. So if you look at the oxidation state of copper, it goes from a 2 plus state to a zero state, so that must mean it's being reduced, right? So this is the reduction half reaction. So that must mean we have to add some amount of electrons, and from plus two to zero, it's two. Okay. So that's important. The other thing that's important, well, we're looking for the Faraday constant, so if our final answer is not close to 96,500, then we know that we're off, okay? The other thing we want to remember is the um, formula that uh, relates um, current to charge, okay? So um, if you don't recall, that's I equals Q divided by T, okay? So Q is the charge there, okay? So we're going to have to figure out, well, what is that charge? So um, Let's rearrange this equation to solve for Q. Okay, the other thing you might want to remember is that one coulomb is one amp second, like that. Okay, so if you don't remember that, get that in your head, because that's a conversion that you won't be getting. So, um, what do we got here? So Q equals IT, like that, I, 3.00 amps times T, 304 seconds. And remember, we want charge in uh, units of coulombs, because that's charge units, is coulomb, okay? So for every coulomb, we have one amp second, like that. Is that okay? So now let's cancel. Cancel, 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 cancel. And we're left with coulombs. So, I guess I can do this in my head, that's 9, 12 coulombs. Okay, so that's how much charge has been transferred over that unit of time, okay? So, um, I'm going to put that over here, just so we won't lose that information, and I'm going to erase this portion of the board, is that okay? So, the other thing we know, well, we know the balanced reaction equation, and we know the mass of the copper that was plated, okay? So if we look up at the periodic table, the molar mass of copper is 63.55, okay? So let's write that down. Grams per mole. So that should give us the number of moles. We could get the number of moles of copper, right? So 0 0.300 grams of copper times 1 mole of copper divided by 63.55 grams of copper. But from there, so that would be moles of copper. We're going to get moles of electrons from that. That's how we're going to figure out Faraday's constant. Okay? So let's just go one step further and do the number of moles of electrons that we've got. Okay? So if we look at our reaction equation, right, we see we, for every one mole of copper, we've got two moles of electrons. Okay? So 
we can write that down. Like that. Okay, so just another conversion back there. So for every one mole copper, two moles of electrons. So that's going to give us the number of moles of electrons. Okay, so let's go ahead and calculate that out. So 0.3 divided by 63.5 times times 2. And I get 9.44 times 10 to the negative 3 moles of electrons, like that, okay? So remember, the units of the Faraday's constant, right, are going to be coulombs per moles of electrons, okay? So do we have coulombs? Yes. yes. So do we have the number of moles of electrons? Yes. yes. So if you want to think of it that way, it's going to be charge per mole, F equals Q, per n, like that, okay? Okay, so, I think uh, you just need to remember the stepwise process, really, just like anything. 